you might be wondering why we are out wandering around in the middle of a field. Well, there is a reason for this. We're on the lookout for a part of a disused railway. We're in Billingborough in Lincolnshire. So we're going to see what there is along the way and hopefully find a way out of this field. I was starting to worry a little bit, but we have found a way through. At least we didn't have to walk for like a few minutes. You oh know? God, yeah, that would have been horrendous. Crazy. You got like a intersection of footpaths. There's route there, route there, route there, and then one this way. This one, we think, will head towards the cutting. So this footpath should bring us up on a railway cutting. The funny thing about Lincoln, you're probably aware, it's very flat. And um, what they did with the railways when they closed them, most of it went back to farming or ag agriculture. So the only things that would have possibly been left might be the odd railway tunnel here and there, or a cutting, probably because it would have cost some money to uh, fill it in or cap it or things like that so there isn't a great deal unless it's already been turned into a footpath so hopefully there'll be some bits and pieces along the way you know so this footpath seems to be skirting around a little river or stream or something like that so we should hopefully get to where we're going soon You can tell by the tree line that it looks like we've uh, come to the old railway line. We've just got to find out how we get into the cutting. Hopefully it's not too overgrown. Yeah, that's the main thing you hope. There is a bit of an embankment up there. So I dare say this would have been a bridge of sorts. There is actually steps up there and they are extremely overgrown. And here. Not so much overgrown. So, let's have a little crack up here. See what we find. Oh my god. If this is a uh, pathway, it's been left to uh, get quite overgrown. I wonder if this was a single track. Whoopsie. Not exactly the best terrain. So what were you saying, buddy? It's quite clear. It certainly is. And at least we've got a bit of shade, haven't we? Yeah. It's always a good thing. Looks quite deep embedded in the ground, but there appears to be a bit of ballast. So we're just going to go up this way, northerly direction, heading towards Sleaford. There were a few stops along this route, heading down to Bourne. One of them is Rippingale, and if you uh, look it up and go on Google Street View, they've made a lovely restoration of the station building. There's even tracks been relayed as well. So take a look at that if you're uh, curious. It's very pretty out here. Yeah, very, it pretty much is. And we've ended up on a really hot Sunday, 24 degrees. So uh, kind of good to uh, have this canopy of trees shielding us.
So it's still on the track bed, but it's now starting to resemble like a standard farm footpath. We'll go up a little bit further and uh, see where it ends, then head back the other way. So this is part of the Bourne and Sleaford Railway. And uh, it opened in 1872. It's closed to passengers in 1930. So getting on for 100 years now. Although it remained until 1956 when it was severed, the line, and then closed completely in 1965. So we've spied something here. What we got? Looks like a part of an old fence. Yeah, or a gate post of some kind. It's still got a bolt in it as well. I was beginning to wonder if we'd find much. But yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad. going to be a bit careful I mean down here but yeah you can see that there's a lovely bit of an old bridge for a culvert with the brickwork not looking amazing but still in place Very cool. So we're now heading southwards towards Billingborough and Bourne. And it's uh, pretty rocky terrain. The uh, rabbits or uh, badgers have uh, been doing a bit of digging. There is something a little bit further ahead that looks kind of new. Okay, so we come through a clearing. It looks like a lot of work has been done on this. Set of steps. So this is possibly a way of um, getting onto the track bed. Maybe it's the way that they want you to go. What we got here? We got what looks like some original brickwork. So I'm thinking this is like a bridge that's been like filled in. It's definitely a bridge that's been filled in, yes. It's crazy to see that even after nearly a hundred years of being closed, there appears to still be some ballast. What do you reckon? Yeah. So as you can see, there's a path going up to the left and then down the side here is all marshy. So it's a possibility that we are on the embankment. So this was part of the Horbling Line Nature Reserve and we're on um, Stowe Road and I believe the railway would have gone underneath this. So we've crossed the other side of this road and there is just water and uh, marshiness. So this would have been the track bed and uh, just a little bit further up there, there's even a bench which appears to, appears to all have been flooded out. So there isn't really much access for us further along now. But it was good to see, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good to see. So, barely 
you can see that there are some steps down to the track bed. So at one stage you would have probably been able to just walk along this without an issue, but um, yeah. Not going to try that. <laughs> 